Hey guys, so uh, in this video, uh, we're going to use what's called the gradient tool. Um, essentially, you can make a color go from kind of fade. It can fade from uh, pinkish red to white, or it could fade from black to white or whatever. It gives sort of a um, it can be a good thing to have as a background color, really. Um, so, okay, this is good enough. Uh, we'll do that. So the first one, okay, we this thing is the gradient tool. Um, now let's come over here and let's just do something simple. Uh, let's do... From this orange thing looks pretty cool. So you can see I click it and now uh, I've got these crosshairs, right? And so I click and hold down and then I drag the direction where I want the color change to occur. And boom. Okay, now here I'll create another layer and I'm gonna turn that off so it'll make it easier. Now a really cool one I like is this one up here if you hover your mouse you see how it says uh, right there next to my pointer it says foreground to background so here we've got a foreground color here we've got a background color okay foreground background it'll transition what uh -huh. What happened? What did I do? What did I do? Um, no, let's do this. Okay. Now, foreground to background. Now that should do it. There. Good. Um, and let's say you wanted to... So here, you could put some text over here and maybe a graphic over there. Uh, all sorts of stuff you can do to make something uh, look kind of cool. So create another layer. I'll just turn that off. Um, now, okay, all right. So now let's change. Here's the foreground. And you can see it, it'll say, now let's do, let's go over here from uh, a blue. So we'll start at sort of a darker blue. And we'll say, okay. Now you can see that foreground. All right, now we're going to go to the background. Go back over to the blue. Click here. Now let's select a lighter blue. Something like that. Okay. So you can see how it'll transition between those two. Let me go. Here. Now, we could also start from the top and go downward, okay, uh, which also looks cool, or we could go from this corner, I click, and then I drag down here, and it does the same thing. Uh, it's really pretty cool. Um, then you could uh, export it as um, now you can see, oh, that's really expensive, a really big file. It's not going to be good downloading that uh, into your browser. So I'm going to put it in JPEG, and it goes down to 34 kilobytes. And down here, down at the bottom here, uh, then I will just, so as I go down here, the button to export is just down this way. Again, you can't see it on my screen, but down here it says export all. All right. 